my piggy people. So today's video I want to talk to you a little bit about Butter Pecan. So I'm going to be making a vet appointment for her to get her yearly checkup and to talk about pain management for her. So Butter Pecan is almost seven and she's been on Medicam for better part of a year I'd say which is an anti-inflammatory slash pain med. For arthritis in her back end, she's very sensitive in her hip area. And for about the last three or four days, now I can notice a difference that her pain doesn't seem under control anymore. So the big differences were, instead of exploring the entire cage like she usually does, she's kind of staying just to one end. And she's staying in the same position for long periods of time, which just isn't normal for her either. She's still eating, drinking, and very alert. It's just her comfort level is not there. So just tonight I took her to give her a little bum bath, and I noticed that her back feet look bruised. So she's definitely either standing on them differently or just standing in the same position for too long and they're getting sore. So in the past I've used Medicam Tramadol combos for my pigs with arthritis and it's worked really well. So I'm going to speak to my vet to see if that's something we could try with Pecan. So Butter Pecan is on, it feels like a bunch of pain meds, I mean a bunch of medications already. Because she gets the pain med, she gets gas drops and she has two different digestive tract medications. But the thing is she's a senior so if whatever I got to do to keep her comfortable I'm going to because the quality of her life matters more than the quantity since you know all medications could potentially have side effects perhaps for like her liver or kidneys but we need her to be comfortable so one thing that I'm doing right now is putting vet bed that is underneath where she's laying right now so vet bed, I get this in Canada, just from vet bed Canada, if you want to look at that online. Um, I'm Right now I just messaged the lady that runs it to ask her how much really large sections would be. So I sent her the measurements so that I could fill up this entire cage with vet bed underneath the main liners. So. It could be really, really pricey, but that would give like a lot of extra cushion for her. Because right now I have just pieces that are about the size of one by two liners, but I want to get pieces that are going to fill up. I'll stop bugging pecan here for a sec. But I want to get pieces that are going to fill up this entire cage. So I calculated it out. I could do about six different strips to fill up this entire cage. So we'll see what the lady says for pricing because it would be so much easier to just set the vet bed down here on the core plast and then put liners on top so that I don't have to wash the vet bed very often because it's going to be protected from the liners because right now it's a lot of uneven levels putting the vet bed underneath some of these liners. So I got some over here where she likes to lay, over there where there's a bed that she likes over there that there's a bed that she likes but ultimately even when she's standing to eat hay or eat her pellets I want some cushion underneath there. Reese, I think Ray wants the water bottle there. So we will see what the lady says and go from there. I'm sure no matter what she says I'll get it anyway because you know it's something I feel like we need. So I'll update you guys what the vet says. Um, I don't know if we'll need an appointment since she already knows that she has arthritis, but since it's a new medication for her, we might need the appointment. So hopefully we'll be able to get in this week. I do believe with everything that's going on, we still can't obviously go inside, so I just would be dropping her off and waiting in the parking lot. So we'll see how that goes. I just want to make sure she gets comfortable. Everybody else is doing well. A uh, little apple is in here. Apple's holding her own. Um, some days she seems a little crabby and then other days she seems awesome so I have no idea. If we can get closer to the end of the month that's going to be the two month mark since our diagnosis and with me using those herbal pills. So I was thinking of getting an x-ray not too long after the two month mark to see if anything looks different. 
so we'll see how that goes. Apple I just take day by day, but she's definitely comfortable. She moves around fine, she's eating, she's drinking, she sleeps comfy. What more could you ask for? The sisters are doing awesome. They're just the happiest little girls. There's Annabelle there. And you can hardly see Annie back there eating hay. There's Miss Autumn laying down drinking. She's such a delicate drinker. She just pushes in the little ball at the end and just laps up some water so quietly. And then we have Mr. Angus over here sleeping on top of the bed. So anyway guys, I will see you all later and I'll keep you updated about Butter Pecan. Bye bye! If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!